This is Billy Batson, star reporter for station WIZZ-TV. He has been picked by the aged wizard Shazam to carry on the wizard's lifelong crusade against crime and the forces of evil. When Billy speaks the wizard's name, Shazam! Billy becomes Captain Marvel, mighty champion, combining the wisdom of Solomon, the strength of Hercules, the stamina of Atlas, the power of Zeus, the courage of Achilles, and the speed of Mercury. Billy's twin sister, Mary Batson, has also been granted special powers. When she speaks the name, Shazam! Mary Batson becomes Mary Marvel, blending the grace of Selena with the best qualities of other goddesses, whose names combined form the word Shazam! The third member of the mighty trio is their friend, lame newsboy Freddie Freeman. When he speaks the name of his idol, Captain Marvel! Freddie becomes the powerful Captain Marvel Jr. Together, they are the mighty Marvel, dedicated to fighting the forces of evil throughout the universe. A sunny summer's day finds our heroes, Billy and Mary Batson, relaxing in the city park. Heads up, Billy. Hey, sis, not a bad throw for a girl. Hey, Freddy, want to take a shot at it? Let her go, Billy. Uh-oh, I missed. Not a bad try, <laughs> for a boy. Yes, all seems well, but villains never take a day off. Careful, kids, that simple ice cream man is not all he seems. Ice cream, get your cool, delicious ice cream here. 385 yummy flavors. Ice cream. <laughs> Gee, we're sorry, mister. Are you okay? Pesky kids, why don't you watch what you're doing? We're really sorry. It was an accident. The least we can do is check your wagon for you. And we'll gladly pay for any damages. Now get away from that! Don't touch that cart! I mean, you've done enough now! Now please, please, please go away! Uh, okay, mister. Uh, we were just trying to help. Boy, how can anybody who sells ice cream be so grumpy? It's all clear, Mr. Mind. Our disguise fooled those meddling Marvel brats. It's about time. <laughs> I was getting cold in there. Not to worry, my little partner. In a few seconds, we will savor our long-awaited triumph over the Marvel family. Behold! One blast from our mind warper will drive all memory of the magic word Shazam from the Marvel family's brains. They'll be unable to summon their superpowers ever again. <laughs> but Shazam, you, you're, you're forgetting it. Here they come again. Quick, we must activate the mind warper. In all the confusion, we forgot to pick up our flying saucer. I hope that ice cream man has cooled down a little. That was no ice cream man, Billy. Look! Holy moly! It's Dr. Savannah and Mr. Mind! Right, Billy Batson! And it's also your fish! Sh... Sh... Uh... Uh... uh what were we going to say? I can't remember. <laughs> We've done it! We've done it, Mr. Mind! The marbles are ruined! Not all of us, Savannah. You forgot. To summon my powers, all I have to do is say the name of my favorite hero, Captain Marvel! <laughs> It's not going to have any effect on anything when I'm done with it. That 
takes care of their evil invention. Shazam! Let's get out of here! Wait, 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 wait for me! Hold it, Savannah. That moron missed a mind. Why didn't he remind me about Captain Marvel Jr.? Those marvels! No! No! Unhand me, you big red cheese! I wonder where Mr. Mind went. Oh, well, maybe she'll mistake me for a blade of grass. Ooh, when I get my neck on that savanna! Aha! Uh -huh. There's that little worm. Mr. Mind. Oh, he got away. That's okay, Mary. I think Mr. Mind's finished for now. Anyway, we may have lost our worm, but we still hooked this fish for the authorities. Ah, no jail can hold Dr. Savannah for long. And besides, Marvel dokes, you still have my partner, Mr. Mind, to reckon with. <laughs> Station Wiz, where Billy Batson does his nightly news show. We can rest easier now that Dr. Savannah is back behind bars. But that creepy Mr. Mind is still on the loose. Yes, Miss Jameson? Billy, there are two rather, uh, odd-looking gentlemen asking for you out here. Uh, what do you mean, odd? Well, one of them has a tail. That has to be Uncle Dudley and Mr. Tawny. I'll be out in a minute. I tell you, Mr. Morris, my latest invention will make a mint for your station. Dudley, if you think I'm going to give you free airtime to plug another of your cockamamie inventions... Cockamamie, he calls it? Tisk, tisk. Morris, old boy, the Uncle Dudley patented dry ice machine is the greatest boon to mankind since Edison invented the cotton gin. For your information, Eli Whitley invented the cotton gin, and it is this precise lack of knowledge on your part that urges me to ask you to leave the premises. In other words, Dudley, get out and take that gabby overgrown pussycat with you. Ah, but you haven't seen our ice machine many handy uses. Here's a trick that's fun at any party. Simply take one ordinary cup of water, add one cube of dry ice, and presto! Instant smoke screen! Uh, holy moly! What's going on out here? Help! He's nuts! Go well back to the old drawing board. Great Godfrey! Did my ice cube do all that? Holy moly! You're not gonna believe this! It's a huge sinkhole, and it's swallowing up the whole city! Shazam! Granite 
State Tower. Uh-oh. The captain may need some help. Shazam! Holy moly! What's going on? The building. It's gonna fall. Captain Marvel! Marvel family, I would have been out there to lead the rescue, but the old Shazam Bagel is acting up. Oh, sure, Uncle Dudley, we understand. What I don't understand is how those sinkholes started in the first place. The drought, I guess. Since we haven't had any rain for months, the ground probably just crumbled away. Wrong, Marvel fools! Mr. Mind! No way, Worm. Captain Marvel would never give in to you. He has one hour to reconsider, and if he still refuses, my army and I will level this city and make nothing but giant crumbles. Have a nice day. <laughs> Holy moly, the worm has turned. How will Captain Marvel, the world's mightiest mortal, cope with this chilling challenge from Mr. Mind, the world's mightiest might? Stay tuned and see. Facing the threatened destruction of the city by Mr. Mind's army of worms, the marvels are momentarily stumped. We can't give in to Mr. Mind, but if we don't, his worms will destroy the city. If only we had some clue to his army's whereabouts. What do you think, Uncle Dudley? Uncle Dudley? He's gone! Just what is that thing, Uncle Dudley? Uh, one of my earlier inventions, the Uncle Dudley patented worm finder. With any luck, it should lead us right to Mr. Mind. Eureka! They should be right under here. Look, a cave that leads underground. Come on, Mr. Tony. See anything? Oh, nothing. Are you sure that worm finder contraction really works? Shh, shh. Listen to that. It's coming from behind that rock. Oh, dear me. Do you see what I see? It's a worm convention. I think somebody's garden is in for big trouble. a worm amongst worms, a worm who knows the meaning of the word slimy. I give you Mr. Mind! Friends, roundworms and caterpillars, lend me your antennas. Our moment of triumph is here. We worms have good reason to hate humans. After all, how many of our brethren have been taken on fishing trips? Only to find out later, it's a one-way trip. Uh-oh, I don't like the looks of this. Since the humans refuse to acknowledge me as their rightful ruler, we must go forth and take the surface world for ourselves. Let's go! <laughs> Uncle Dudley! It's Mr. Mind! His worm troops are headed for town! We have to have a plan. Mr. Tawny, what are worms afraid of most? Let's see. There's birds, fish hooks, rain. Rain? Of course. When it rains, it floods the worms right to the surface where they're helpless. But that doesn't do us any good. It hasn't rained in months. Ahem! <laughs> 
him. <coughs> uh, the Uncle Dudley patented dry ice machine to the rescue. We can seed the clouds with Uncle Dudley's dry ice and make it rain. That's right, Billy. A mere flick of the switch and voila! <laughs> Don't worry, it just needs a wee bit of fine tuning. It's working! Of course! <laughs> now I only figure out how to turn it off when we're finished. I see them. They're headed for the city, all right. I hope Mary found something big enough to put all that dry ice in. Will these do? That's perfect, sis. Come on, Freddy. It's time for us to get in the act. Captain Marvel! Shazam! Everybody get a full load and follow me. We'll dump the ice in those dark thunderclouds ahead. Bombs away! But at that moment, Mr. Mine's troops strike at the farmer's market. Hey, what? What's going on here? Mr. Mind's glorious worm army. Now his troops are nothing but breakfast for a flock of magpies. But what happened to Mr. Mind himself? I don't know, but if he's planning any new tricks, you can bet the Marvel family will be there to stop him. And you can bet you haven't seen the last of Mr. Mind when I... Hey guys, as long as we're here, let's pick up some apples. These look perfect for my new applesauce recipe. Did she say applesauce? I know a good applesauce recipe, too. Uh, first, you chop up the apples. <laughs> then you boil them over a hot flame. You marbles make me boil, all right. But someday, I'm going to put you in my recipe for red cheese fondue. Wait a minute. There it is. I knew I saw something funny. Come on, Billy. That's not a UFO. That's somebody's kite. Hey, guys, don't hog it. All right, who's next? I am. Uh, let's flip a coin. No kids. Let an expert handle this. Uncle Dudley, are you an expert on UFOs, too? Am I? My dear boy, haven't I told you the time? Wait. Jump and jump, boost the pad. What's the matter, Uncle Dudley? You better see for yourself. Uh-oh. This looks like it could be trouble. We'd better check it out as the Marvel family. Shazam! Captain Marvel! Getting closer. The princess is somewhere nearby. I can feel it. Impudent mortal! Holy moly! Captain Marvel! 
Get me out of here! You could have hurt that man. Uh, Black Adam does as he pleases. That's public property, mister. Maybe you'd better calm down a little. Hmm. You seem to be almost as strong as I am. Almost? Ha! What makes you think you're a match for the Marvels? Are you a Marvel? Of course. Think fast, Marvel. Gracious! Well, I guess I uh, softened him up for you, huh? He'll know better than to fool with Uncle Dudley again. Where do you think you're going, Black Adam? Nowhere that concerns you or your pipsqueak pals. We'll see about that. Foolish one, so you think you can stop Black Adam? <laughs> Wait a minute. What's the idea of... Oh! Oh, woo! 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 <laughs> Where is Black Adam, anyhow? And where is Captain Marvel Jr.? Oh, no! We better head for the wizard's cave. The only thing that can cure Jr. is magic. We'll have to summon the spirit of our old friend, the wizard. Good to see you again, my children. I have been expecting you. How did you know to expect us? I sensed an evil so strong it could mean only one thing. The return of Black Adam. <laughs> what a relief. Thank you, sir. Who is Black Adam, sir? And how is he so powerful? Five thousand years ago, my son, I gave the Egyptian Teth Adam the same mighty powers I gave you. But he turned evil. For five thousand years, he has brooded alone where I imprisoned him at the end of the universe. Now, he has returned. Why has he returned, sir? To claim the Princess Jemai for his bride. You must use all your cunning to stop him. But how do we do that? He is as strong as we are. And he has the magic of ancient Egypt. There is but one way to stop Black Adam. Please, sir, tell us. I must not. It is a mystery for you to solve. But I am confident you will find the solution. Now what? Where do we start? Princess Jemai. I've heard that name somewhere. Uh, Mr. Tony mentioned it, yes. The new Egyptian exhibit at his museum. That's right. The mummy of Princess Jemai. We'd better get going. Wow, this place is spooky. I wonder where the mummy of Princess Jemai is. Here comes Mr. Tawny. He'll be able to tell us. Ah, boy, am I glad to see you. There's a weirdo in there. Black Adam. We better see what he's up to. And now, to awaken my princess. Arise, Jamai. Hear me, and arise. Free. Free at last. It's about time. Where have you been? I, uh, it was the old wizard. He imprisoned me before, before I could set you free. 
Don't give me those same old excuses. Do you have any idea what it's like to be wrapped up like a sack of potatoes for 5,000 years? But you're free now, my dear. Yes, I suppose so. But if you think I'll put up with any more of your bumbling... Princess Jemai is really letting him have it. She has a real chip on her shoulder. That chip is more like a cinder block. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get going. Yes, yes, sir, of course. I can't believe it. He's really afraid of her. Gad, Zoop, if she's wickeder than he is, we're in trouble. Oh, I've waited 5,000 years for this moment, and it's been worth every second. What's that, Mr. Tani? Wow, that's the staff of Osiris. I never saw it do that before. It must have something to do with the princess. Before we depart, let's leave the mark with something to remember us by. <laughs> Arise, O Thoth! Sobek. Now with those marmels come looking for us, they'll have something to keep them busy. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you going after them? They'll have to take care of those creatures first. They'll cause a panic in the city. This calls for the marvels. Shazam! Marvel! Oh, Captain Marvel, this may help. It has magic powers. We'll need all the help we can get. Wish us luck. Junior and I will find the baboon. <laughs> so long, Toothy. is strong enough to destroy the whole city by itself. Let's try the magic staff. Junior, you get its legs. Power of Osiris, monster be gone! Holy moly! Look at that! That takes care of Black Adam's creatures. What about Black Adam? Staff of Osiris, take us to Black Adam! The magic staff's pulling us down. Black Adam must be in here. The spell is complete. The people of this planet will become our slaves. Oh, no, they won't. Curses that marble character again. The stuff of Osiris. 
quick! Take it from him! You paid for your meddling, you big red ape! We'll see who pays for what! The staff! Somebody catch it! Oh no! Does it? By the power of Anubis! Oh! <laughs> Fools, I warn you! The smart elf girl is much prettier than Jemai. How would you like to be my queen? Huh? I am ready, Master. <laughs> I think I'd better put you two on ice. Ta-ta, Marvels! <laughs> This block is a little off balance now. Maybe if I can just vibrate. All right. Boy, oh boy, I'll never look at another ice cube again. Come on, Junior. We've got to stop that character before Mary is lost to us forever. Are you sure we'll find them in time? Black Adam's spell couldn't keep me from sensing where Mary is. I'm sure we're ahead of them. But how will we stop him once he gets here? What is the secret of old Shazam? That's it. What? That word. Shazam? Right. We just have to get Black Adam to say the magic word. I don't understand. How will that help? You'll see. Come on. We'll need some wood. These trees should do the trick. Soon, my dear, we will be home on my planet. Yes, Master. Is everything all right? I don't know, Master. I can sense something watching me. Great B. No, impossible. Yes, Master. But I'm almost sure. Nonsense, girl. Think of something cheerful like beating the slaves while they build the pyramids. What's that, Master? What in the universe? Come, let's have a look at it. I just hope Mary doesn't give us away. I can tell she senses I'm near. He's got it! Crap! It's empty! No? Wait a minute. I see something. Uh -oh. I think she's figured it out. It's a treasure map. Master, wait, it's a... Hush! Hmm, to whom it may concern? Shazam? Oh, oh no!
What happened to Black Adam? The minute he said the magic word... He was automatically transformed back into his mortal form. Since he was a 5,000-year-old Egyptian, his mortal form had become dust. And when he turned to dust, Mary was freed from his spell. What I was going to ask is what took you so long? Let's go home. I hate to say it, but I'm looking forward to some of Uncle Dudley's cooking. My final trick. Uncle Dudley, magician's convention. We're going to be late for the plane. We'll have to fly to the airport. Did you say fly? That's okay, Uncle Dudley. We'll give you a lift. Ready, everybody? Shazam! Shazam! Captain Marvel! <laughs> Keep an eye on Mary, Uncle Dudley. Don't let anyone saw her in half or change her into a rabbit. If I talk to the other magicians, it'll be to learn a trick for shrinking swelled heads. Now, now, if there's any trouble, I'll just become Uncle Marvel. And watch out, Dr. Sivana. You soon, you big red cheese! I'll show them. This time I'll pick them off one by one with my new shrinking ray! <laughs> Someone else do the flying for a change. What on earth is that? All passengers, please fasten your seatbelts. That doesn't look like any tornado I ever saw. Maybe I ought to change into... Are you all right, my dear? Who? What? Good heavens, we've landed somewhere. Come on, this situation may call for the Marvels. Marvels? Who are they? I don't believe it. Excuse me, sir, but who are you? I... I can't seem to remember anything. Mary, for goodness sake, say Shazam! Shazam? Oh no, it doesn't work here. I am Magna. Welcome to my collection. Holy moly! Flight 601 disappeared in a freak tornado. That's the plane Mary and Uncle Dudley were on. We'd better get moving. Shazam! Captain Marvel! You can see where the tornado went. 
Let's go down and take a look. There's something funny about this. There sure is. Tornadoes don't just stop short like that. No, unless they go into another dimension. You mean a time warp? Exactly. Now let's make our own tornado. Pile on all the speed you can. We have to go faster than the speed of light. You mean... That's right. I think Mary and Uncle Dudley were swept into the fourth dimension. Gosh, Billy, the fourth dimension lightning must have transformed us back. Well, no harm done. I'll just say, Shazam! Shazam! Uh, Captain Marvel! My gosh, Billy. It looks like our powers don't work in the fourth dimension. Look out! Let's make tracks. You can't set him free! That's Dr. Savannah, the maddest scientist in the world! This funny little man? Nonsense. You fat fool! You should know better than to oppose me! And that goes for you too, Mary Marvel! It's true then. You evil little worm! If you try to harm this girl, you're what? In one moment, you're going to be tinier than an egg! Oh no! I forgot everything is reverse here! Goodness gracious! <laughs> I almost forgot in the fourth dimension, the laws of nature are topsy-turvy! The fourth dimension? Mary, Mary, wake up! <laughs> Mary, Mary, wake up! Wake up! Uncle Dudley! Mary, thank goodness you got your memory back. Now, if we only knew how to contact your brother. We seem to have lost that laser beast. I don't mind telling you, I've had enough of this place. If only we could just say, Shazam! Darn this fourth dimension! Oh no! For gosh sakes! <laughs> well, well! I think I may just take all my vacations here. <laughs> this must be my lucky day! Billy Batson and Freddie Freeman! Fancy meeting you here! <laughs> You'd better let go of us, Savannah. What for? This is the most fun I've had in ages! <laughs> what are you doing here? Well? My name is Dr. Savannah, my dear. And who might you be? I am Magna. And I'm in charge here. Of course you are. I just thought I'd help you out by catching these two troublemakers. Two new dolls? Can I have them? Dolls? Now there's just enough for a game. Billy! Freddy! Mary! 
Uncle Dudley! A game? What a lovely idea! Let's talk it over! <laughs> Magna may be as big as a skyscraper, but she acts just like a little girl. I know some big girls who still sleep with their teddy bears. Billy Batson, you just wait till we... What I'd like to know is what kind of game Dr. Savannah's dreaming up for us. No, no, no reason to let ourselves get gloomy. That's right. We have to keep our spirits up if we're going to escape. Do a trick for us, Uncle Dudley. Hooray for the magnificent Dudley! Ladies and gentlemen, nothing up my sleeves, and yet, if I say the magic words Alakazam and Arresto... Yes! Wow, that's some trick! I, I think you'd better stop, Uncle Dudley. By George, I have an idea. Alakazam and Alagaru, iron bars, uh, a shoe. <laughs> Hooray for Uncle Dudley! My gosh, what's that? Uh-oh, the laser beast has returned. And the magic word Shazam still does not work. Are the Marvels doomed? We'll soon find out. Unable to become the Marvels, our heroes face the ferocious laser beast without their superpowers. There's only one hope left. Uncle Dudley. We need a magic trick. The Joy Buzzer, the, the Rubber Chicken, the, the, ah! My Squirt Flower! Hurry, Uncle Dudley! Here goes! Look at that! <laughs> <laughs> Look at him go! Oh, Uncle Dudley, you're wonderful! Hey, everything in the fourth dimension is backwards. Freddy, say Captain Marvel backwards. Levram Neat Pack! What? It's our turn, Mary. Say Shazam backwards. Mazaz! Now, let's go find Savannah and his playmate and see if we can join their game. Where are your mother and father? They're still asleep. Where did you get these lovely dolls, my dear? You won't tell on me, will you? Of course not, my child. Just tell me. It's my daddy's dimensional transporter. It can bring anything from anywhere. Anything? Jewels? Gold? Who wants that boring stuff? Let's have a race with a lizard man and a laser beast. I have a better idea. Why don't you open all the cages at once and see what happens? Oh boy, I'll get all the cages from outside, too. And meanwhile, I'll play with the dimensional transporter. <laughs> Come on, you guys. We better do something before Magnus starts opening those cages. <laughs> I think I'll start with Fort Knox. And before Savannah figures out how to start that machine. <laughs> Our size may be a slight disadvantage, but I think I know where we can get some help. Follow me. Eureka! 
Magnus Parents. Uncle Dudley, you're a genius. Once we wake them up, they'll take care of Magna and Savannah. Well, here goes nothing. Let's hope this works. I think you'd better get your slippers on, sir, and come with us. Who shall we let out first? Earth people or lizard men? Be quiet! <laughs> Our game! You promised! Magna, you naughty child. What did I tell you about playing with that transporter? <laughs> and who are you, sir? Dr. Shivana, rightful ruler of the universe. And you're too late! No, no, you don't. That will be enough from you! This is all your fault, you big red cheese! That sounds like a good idea. Of course, I'm going to have to send all these people back to wherever they came from. But since you were kind enough to offer to play with Magna, you can stay and play with her for a while. I'll get you yet, you big red cheese! It's a quiet day at the Marvel Mansion, but not for long, for Billy and Mary's cousin, Freckles Marvel, is about to pay them a visit. And she's brought a most unusual and dangerous present with her. We're so glad to see you, Freckles. I've really missed you all, and Mary, I brought you a surprise. Oh, how beautiful. Thank you. Yuck, what's that? Are there more of those things? If crocodiles had money, this would be a bestseller. Where did you find it? I guess you could say it found me. This old peddler stopped by the other day and asked if I wanted to buy a rare book. That old peddler was me. I back. The accursed Ibex. I knew she'd give that book to her cousin. Am I a genius? <laughs> yes, Ibex. You are a genius. And wait until Mary Marvel sees what happens tonight. <laughs> Shut. 
silly girl. We were warned about your magic word. Something's wrong. Shut up. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now we have all three of you. A very successful operation. Emperor Ibak will be so happy. Sake, they put 
the subway stop in our backyard. I don't like the looks of this. Where's Mary, anyhow? And Freddy. And Billy. Freddy, man. My moment of triumph, Billy Batson. A time tube is ready to operate. This tube comes out one million years in the future. In your backyard. I like that touch. Ha! Trying to conquer the world again? You'll never su succeed! No. Well, this time I'm going to conquer the whole human race before it becomes the human race. With my help, the Hiss men will conquer the cavemen and we'll get all the soldiers we need from your people. You mean... That's right. We'll use the people processor to make humans into Hiss men. The cavemen are attacking again. I must find a way to change to Captain Marvel. Double curses. I hear something coming up the tube. Billy. If you're Billy, let's see you change to Captain Marvel. That's why I came back. Let's hope it works up here. Shazam! Now let's see how brave Ibac is. Gee, Captain Marvel, you've got to stop Ibac and those hiss men. If they conquer the cavemen, the human race won't have any ancestors. Oh, maybe we'll all just disappear, like when you turn off the TV. Don't worry, folks. I'll take care of Ibac. Holy moly. I can't go down there as Captain Marvel. If I'm going to reach the Hitsman's time, I'll have to become Billy Batson. Isn't that a little risky? There's no other way. My power short out the time tunnel. Shazam! Don't worry, I'll be back soon. Looks like the coast is clear. He will be safe for a moment. We'd better go tell I back. Can anyone stop the evil I back? Find out next. Batson is Ibach's prisoner. Meanwhile, his friends wonder what to do. I don't care what you say. I'm going after Billy. <coughs> don't you think we better wait a little longer? situation calls for Uncle Marvel. I guess. Shazam! Maybe we better.
that I think this over. Shazam! I think I have a little score to settle with these guys. Turn on that machine, Freckles. No! No! Anything but the that! Freckles, you're a real marvel. Now this time, you three stay put. Bar the doors and wait till I come back with Mary and Freddy. Sure you want me to? again for a while. How about a visit to the people processor? You said it! Well, our world's still here. I'll bet I back and the Hiss men are still running. Now let's get rid of this time tube. Wait a minute. I hate to take my present back, but, hmm, allow me.
Latest edition just in. Get them here. A sunny afternoon finds newsboy Freddie Freeman busy with the customers at his city newsstand. Paper, Mr. Beck? Paper, Mr. Birdwell? I'll take one, Freddie. Yes, sir. But while Freddie is busy with his customers, villainy strikes in the guise of a simple delivery man. And here's your change. Look alive there, boy. We've got an extra for you. An extra? Gee, I wonder what happened. Maybe an earthquake or a flood or... Holy moly! Captain Marvel vanishes? Captain Marvel! It's a good thing no one saw that. I'd better get to the bottom of this right away. Ha! Ah, my trap is baited and wet. Who but the wicked Black Adam could have devised such a scheme? <laughs> my newspaper hopes will lure the Marvel family to their door at the same time that I destroy all of North America! Later, at the offices of the Daily News... Gosh, Captain Marvel Jr., I wish I could help you. See, it looks like our paper, but this is a false headline. It's a phony. Why would somebody go through all the trouble to print it up? You can bet I'll find out. There's a lot more to that phony headline than meets the eye. I'll check in with Billy and Mary. Maybe they know what's behind this hoax. Hmm. There's more than one way to do this. Shazam! La, da, 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 da. <laughs> Be right there! Shazam! Uh-oh. If you're here as Captain Marvel Jr., something must be up. Mary, where's Billy? I better see you both. Well, he left this morning with Uncle Dudley and Mr. Tawny for a river trip. What's wrong? Plenty. Take a look at this. <gasps> Holy moly! It's a phony, but Billy could be in trouble. Whoever printed it up must know our identities. But who can it be? The Savannas and Mr. Mind are both in jail. That only leaves Black Adam. But how will we find him? That's a question for our wise friends, the elders. Shazam! Elders fleet and strong and wise appear before our seeking eyes. We hear you, Mary. Oh, elders, we fear the Marvel family's old enemy, Black Adam, may again be plotting some new evil. Can you, in your wisdom, show us what his plans are? As you know, Black Adam is the Marvel family's most dangerous and cunning enemy. He shares many of your own superpowers, as well as his own skills in ancient Egyptian sorcery. We've beaten him before, great sir. We can do it again. It will take your combined skills to do so. As we speak, Black Adam is preparing a magic potion to dissolve the bottom of riverbeds. He plans to use this potion at Rushing Rapids Gorge. No! That's where Billy and Uncle Dudley are. Then you must act swiftly to try to save them. It is not within our power to tell you how to best Black Adam. But you may do well to remember that which I have written in the Proverbs. The oppression of the wicked will sweep them away because they refuse to do what is right. The oppression of the wicked. What do you suppose Solomon meant by that? We can't think about that now. We have to fly to rushing rapids and make sure Billy is safe. <laughs> There's nothing like the primitive glory of a wilderness. Hey, Billy, my boy? If you say so, Uncle Dudley. How are we coming with the raft, honey? Well, we've got one big problem. What's that? Your foot. 
you're standing on the air holes. Come on, you two. We'll never get down the rapids at this rate. You'll never get down the river at all, Betty Batson. A drop of this potion will rid me of you and Captain Marvel forever. Hang on, you guys. Here we go. Hey, I can see them down on the river. I see someone, too. Black Adam. I'll take that, thank you. Captain Marvel Jr. In person. Insolent youth, I'll teach you to trifle with me. Try, Marvels, what the winning hand belongs to. Black Adam! <laughs> that river it's going to cave in holy moly let's make for the bank fast now we're trapped in a whirlpool only captain marvel can get us out of this mess billy uncle dudley we're too late mary they're gone come on we better go after them <laughs> He fell overboard into the underground river. Hold on, Billy. I'm coming. Billy, are you all right? I sure am. Thanks to Mary. What are you guys doing here anyway? The elders told us of Black Adam's potion, which dissolves the bottoms of riverbeds. Why would Black Adam want to destroy river bottoms? Why indeed, Marvel Misfit. <laughs> You'll soon find out. Or maybe not so soon. Spirit of Ahmed, take the models back. 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 Hey, where are we? You are in ancient Egypt. Make ourselves at home. My mummy ghosts will be glad to entertain you while I am occupied. The mummies, they're coming to life. Wait, think about what Black Adam said. He called them mummy ghosts. That's right. That means they're not real mummies. They don't exist. Watch. I never did believe in ghosts. Well, that takes care of Black Adam's creatures. But how will we get back to the 20th century? That's a good question. I... Wait a minute. Look! Isn't that the same staff that Black Adam used to send us here? Sure looks like it. If it worked for him, maybe we can make it work for us. That's exactly what I was thinking. Now, what was it Black Adam said? Spirit of Ahmed, take us back to where we were. It worked! We're back! But the staff seems to have disappeared. We won't need it now. Boy, Black Adam went through a lot of trouble to lure you here and try to do us in. I wonder if he's gone. On the contrary, Marvels, my battle against you has just begun. Holy moly! It's him! Shazam! Captain Marvel, I'm pleased you could be on hand to witness my moment of triumph. 
You're finished, Black Adam. Even with your powers, you're no match for the Marvel family. Oh, but I have no intention of fighting you myself, Captain. Your end shall come when this cavern explodes. Explode? Once the cold river water floods the lava pools, the steam pressure will build up strong enough to explode outward, taking all of North America with it. Even now, the pressure has reached a critical stage. Holy moly! Farewell, Marvels. I plan to be safely away when the Big Bang comes. <laughs> Is it too late for Captain Marvel to stop Black Adam's explosion? We'll find out soon. As the steam pressure builds up under the river, the explosion draws closer. An explosion which could destroy the entire continent of North America. Somehow we must find a way to stop that explosion. If we could just find those lava pits, we might be able to figure out a way to stop the water from turning to steam. Right, Mary. But where are the lava pits? If we dive into the whirlpool, maybe we can follow the steam to the lava pits. It's worth a try. Let's get going. Good luck, Marvel family. We must be getting close to the lava pits now. The steam is so thick, I can hardly see. Me neither, but we better hurry. I hope Uncle Dudley and Mr. Tawny made it to the ranger station. Dudley, are you sure this is the right direction? Of course I am. After all, I made this compass myself. But why is the needle moving even when we're standing still? Details, details. Now let's go. We follow the compass. It's a good thing we have the power of Zeus and the stamina of Achilles, or we'd have been cooked by now. The first thing to do is shut off the cold water. Very good, Marvels, but you have failed. Black Adam. You are worthy foes, but I've come too far with my plans to be stopped now. Keep you busy while the steam builds up again. I now have called out my lava monsters. This is impossible. How can we fight creatures we can't even hold? They just ooze right over us. Wait, that's the answer. Let them cover you and follow me. This cold water will freeze the lava monsters into rock. Watch! Now to get rid of this steam. Work, Captain Marvel. As long as I can match your super strength, I can hold you off until the lava pits explode. Wait a minute. What was it that Solomon said? The oppression of the wicked will sweep them away. Oh, it's no use, you guys. We might as well give up. Mary! What are you saying? How can we ever hope to beat someone with the same powers as ours? He even gets them by saying the same magic word. Mesh... Uh... Uh... Shazm... Uh, uh... The sham! You little fool! The magic word is Shazam! Oh, oh, oh no! Oh no! Cast your marvels! I'm going back in time! No! Good thinking, Mary. 
Black Adam fell for your trick. When he said Shazam, he was transformed back into his mortal form. And his mortal form lived 5,000 years ago. So he was immediately transported into the past. I hope we don't see him for another 5,000 years. Don't count on it, but at least we were in time to stop his explosion. Uh-oh. Now what? I told you we were going in circles. I don't understand it. I made this compass at the same time I made my wristwatch. You don't suppose I could have... No wonder we've been going in circles. We've been following a watch. I don't know about you guys, but I came up here to go rafting. How about it? <laughs> oh, you got it. Sounds great. That's fabulous. Whoa! You sure you know how to steer this thing, Uncle Dudley? Now, Freddy, they don't call me Master of the Rapids for nothing. Good, because I've had enough swimming for one day and... Uh, look out! My word, where did that come from? I was just thinking how nice it'd be to go for a swim. And I was just thinking of tomorrow's headline. Master of Rapids goes down with ship. It's been a quiet day for news in the city as Billy Batson, reporter for Wiz TV, busily prepares for his next broadcast. Hi, sis. What's up? Our station manager's blood pressure. How come? Nothing's happening except rehearsal for Uncle Dudley's new TV show. That's it. It's a catastrophe. Holy moly! This is a real catastrophe. What is? No time to explain, Mary. But we're needed. Shazam! Once again, the evil genius, Dr. Savannah, strikes. With his equally evil kids, Georgia and Savannah Jr., the bad doctor plans to bring the world to its knees with his titanic robot. them come. <laughs> this atomic charged robot is 100% marvel proof. Wow, I nearly felt that one. You've penetrated my first line of defense, Captain. <laughs> But let's see how well you fare against this! Holy moly! <laughs> oh no! Let's hit that big red cheese with everything we've got! Ah, nothing's working! 
working, Pop! He's overloaded the system! Forget the self-destruct mechanism! We better get out of here! Hey, don't go away. The fun's just starting. Let go! Let go, you creep! If you insist. Come on out, before we take your contraption apart, bolt by bolt. Don't bother, Captain. This nuclear-powered android is set to explode and take the whole city with it. But not before we take our leave. Blast off, Junior. <laughs> Farewell, cheese. No time to go after the Savannahs now. Gotta get rid of this time bomb. Now! That takes care of the robot. Yes, but the Savannah's got away. We'll get them next time. Right now, Billy Batson has got to make a TV news report. And so, with the catastrophe averted and the robot destroyed, the evil Savannah's are no longer a present danger. Ah! Bowie! That's it for the noon report. Watch for the new Shape Up with Uncle Marvel two hours from now. Rat those marvels! I must find a way to beat them. I must. Hey, Pop, take a look at this. It's an alien spaceship, and it's coming down near us. A being from another world! Yes, this could be the answer to my dreams. I'll bet that spaceship is filled with deadly cosmic weapons. Greetings, Earth people. I am Grim Joan from the planet Celestia, and I... I don't care who you are. This is my property. You're trespassing. We gotta confiscate that spaceship, right, Pop? Oh, no, please, I must get back to outer space. Help me, and I will reward you with something far more valuable. Impossible. I need the superior powers in your ship to overcome my enemies. What can be more valuable to me? This jewel, which has no effect on people from my planet, can give you Earthling superpowers beyond your wildest dreams. Superpowers? Oh, wow! Ah, do you take me for a fool? Have no fear, just caress it gently. Now you are a super being. Poppycock, I feel no different. <laughs> Let's see you fly, Pop! Do something super! Let's see you fly, Pop! Do something super! That boulder behind you, pick it up, hurl it, or fly it up into the sky! If you're making a fool of me, you'll pay dearly. Will we be able to fly? Will it work for us? Will we be able to fly? 
Yes, it gives all Earth beings the same powers. But I must warn you, to sustain those powers, you must touch the jewel at regular intervals. Hey, kids, let's give our alien friend a Super Savannah send-off into the wild blue yonder. Punk Captain Marvel Jr. <laughs> now we do indeed have the power to beat those miserable marvels at their own game. Come on home, kids. I've got to plan a strategy to show them they're not really <laughs> the world's mightiest mortals. <laughs> Batson, you've talked me into some nutty schemes before, but this one takes the cake. Please, Mr. Morris, just give Uncle Dudley a chance. He'll make your new health and fitness program the most talked about show on TV. That's what worries me. One, two, one, two, one, two. Oh, doesn't that feel good, folks? Oh, no. Now there, folks, is a sure way to shed pounds and come out looking as fit and trim as old Uncle Marvel himself. I can't bear to watch anymore. Sorry, Mr. Morris, I uh, think he got a little carried away. Oh, he'll get carried away all right after he picks up that mess. Hey, Billy. Freddy, what's wrong? You're not going to believe this, but the Savannah family's back. Look out there. Where? I don't see them. Not down there. Up there. You're right. I don't believe it. <laughs> Where are you, you rotten red cheeses? Somebody tell me it's a bad dream. I wish it were. Oh, they're real, all right. Okay, you know what we've got to do. Sam! Captain Marvel! <laughs> Greetings, Marvel Cheeses! Say hello to the new rulers of the universe. <laughs> what is this, Savannah? How did... Where did you... Never you mind. But I assure you, it's no trick. I don't know how or where they got their superpowers. But for now, we've got to deal with them. Okay, I'm ready. So am I. You have finally met your match, Marvels. Go, Super Savannahs! Attack! Georgia, 
hello and goodbye, you little red cheesecake. Oh! <laughs> May as well give up now, Junior. Says who? Oh. Holy moly! Cat, look out! How oh, I waited for this moment. <laughs> I saw it, but I don't believe it. I hate to admit it, but the Savannas have acquired powers as strong as ours. But how? <laughs> Thanks to this magic alien jewel from outer space, I can now really be the ruler of the universe. So that's it. No, you can't. All right, now you, Dr. Savannah. Let's see how good you and your kids are without your lucky charm. Ah, we'll be super-powered long enough to polish you off, you big red cheese. Say... Who lost the fancy marble? Holy moly, how did I do that? Until their magic superpowers wear off, we could be fighting the Savannas for days. Have no fear. Uncle Marvel is here. I don't believe it. Just sit this one out, kids. I'll handle the Savannas. Get lost, useless! We know you don't have any real powers! You're just an old windbag! Old windbag, am I? <laughs> Here's some wind for you! Meow! Gee, I'm sorry, Pop! I wonder how Uncle Dudley got the jewel. Who cares? Come on, let's help him clean him up. We'd better retreat until we devise a new plan of attack. Yep, our powers are gone. Help! Hello, Savannah. Nice of you to drop in. Uncle Dudley, we never could have beaten the Savannahs without you. Of course, I used my own Shazam powers to save the day. I, uh, I only brought the jewel along because I didn't want it to fall into the wrong hands. I'm glad you feel that way, Uncle. A jewel like this is too dangerous to have around. Oh, well, there's always the old-fashioned way to keep up your superpowers. What's that, Uncle Dudley? One, two, one, two, one, two. You know, I think he might make it yet. One, two, one, two, one. It's a warm, sunshiny day, and there's magic in the air, and there's magic in the Batson family home. Thank you, I thank you. 
And for my next fantastic illusion, I, the amazing Dudley, will make a ferocious, full-grown tiger disappear before your very eyes. Again? Right this way, Mr. Tawny. Why do I let myself get talked into these things? And around we go! What is this? A cement mixer? Alicia Zan? He's vanished! And we get back three tigers for the price of one. Oh, somebody get the license plate of that chamber of horrors. Looks more like a hall of mirrors to me. But now, my astounding grand finale. Not bad, Uncle Dudley. Yeah, how'd you do it? I wish I knew. I hope someone knows, because it's pitch dark outside, too. At 12 noon? Wow! I didn't know there was a solar eclipse today. According to my almanac, there isn't. Then, what's that blocking the sun? Good day, Earthlings. Heavens, Murgatroyd. Or should I say, good evening. I am Star Master. Your son is in my control. And with it, I will control all of you. <laughs> It's starting to snow. In the middle of summer? By blocking out the sun, the entire planet could freeze. <sighs> Into a permanent iceberg. We better put a stop to this star, Master. Shazam! Captain Marvel! Shazam! Spaceship! Stay back, Earthlings! Nothing can stop me from taking your planet! Uh-oh! He spotted us! We can't turn back now! Very well, then! You've been warned! Space. Cap! It's got me! I can't break loose! Mary! Junior! They are with me, Earthling! But you will not be so fortunate! Enjoy the sunlight! If you can stand the heat!
voices, Earth. Either surrender now, or I'll freeze you, or fry you. <laughs> You fiend! You'll never get away with this! Captain Marvel will stop you! Just wait! I'm waiting, Captain Marvel! <laughs> what is your answer? <laughs> At the United Nations, the leaders of the world band together for a common cause. We have got to stop this lunatic. But how? He has the power to destroy us 100 times over. What about our experimental force field rocket? That's a good idea. It could form a protective dome over a small region. But I say there, old chap, but we only have one rocket. Then. We will have to know exactly where Star Master is going to strike first. And Captain Marvel plans to find out where. So, why is he flying to Hero High, that institute of out-of-this-world learning for teenage heroes and heroines? Oh, Captain Marvel! Oh, what an honor! Oh, wow! Hey, look! It's Captain Marvel! And Hero High? Amazing! Sorry to interrupt your class, Miss Grimm, but I need the help of some of your students. Oh, my gosh! You must really be in trouble! We all are. Now, where's Glorious Gal? Right here, Captain! I understand that you can read minds long distance. As long as the line isn't busy. Well, do your best. I want you to read the mind of Star Master. Gee! I wonder what wavelength he's on. Star Master, my mind is calling yours. Oops! Wrong wavelength. Star Master's mind. Come in. <laughs> Good, Glorious. Now, find out where he'll first attack Earth. I'm seeing flashes. The Statue of Liberty, the Empire State Building, the UN. Oh, no. New York. The biggest city in the world. New York is evacuated. And the International Defense Force moves into the harbor, moments before Starmaster's deadline. My patience has run out, Earthlings. Surrender or suffer the consequences. What is your answer? Force field missile, fire one. to rainbows. The force field dome is in place, Captain Marvel. I hope it works. Foolish mortals. You think a mere force field can stop Star Master? <laughs> Those ice rays broke through the dome. Right at us! <laughs> These ice beams burn me up! Tornado, meathead! A tornado? Keep it up, weatherman! Huh? 
I've got an idea. Weatherman, can you steer this thing? Well, I, I don't have a license, if that's what you mean. Just head straight toward those ice beams. Can Captain Marvel stop Starmaster from destroying the Earth? Stay tuned and see! Starmaster is freezing New York City. But the ice rays have yet to meet Captain Marvel. We're gonna send them for a loop. Now, turn to the right. Fast, jump! They may be able to repel my ice rays, but they'll never stop my sunfire beam from melting the polar ice cap. But if you melt all that ice, you'll flood the entire world. You wouldn't. No, wouldn't I? <laughs> If we don't stop that sunfire beam, the whole world will be six feet underwater. It'll take a miracle to save us. Or some very potent magic. Uncle Marvel, I think you have it. Of course I have it. <laughs> what do I have? The magic we need. A mirror. This is no time for vanity, my boy. No, don't you see? With a mirror, we can bounce that sunbeam right off the North Pole. We'll need an awful big mirror. Like the one at Mount Palomine Observatory. Of course you can have our giant telescope mirror to save the world. But how are you going to move it? No problem. My nephew just went to get his moving crew. I wonder if there's a back door. Well, there is one now. <laughs> <laughs> the flood is coming, Earthlings. I hope you've all had your swimming lessons. <laughs> You're the one who needs a good lesson, Star Master. Captain Marvel, haven't you ever heard of knocking? Cap, look out! <laughs> and now, Marvel Oats, you can watch as I wash your sweet earth down the drain! <laughs> Sorry, Star Master, but we've got a date with an iceberg. No! Sis, Junior, let's go! Running scared, eh, Captain Marvel? <laughs> Well, you may have saved your pathetic little family, but you won't save your slimy planet from total destruction! If my calculations are correct, the polar ice cap should come flooding south in the next five minutes. Then why is the observatory heading north? Well, the observatory is heading north because... What? It's Captain Marvel! And Mary and Junior! And now, Earthlings, 
One final blast of heat to fry your last lousy ice cubes. <laughs> You mean we did it, Glorious. You kids were a big help. Saving the world is fun. It was our pleasure, Captain Marvel. And my pleasure is that Star Master is gone for good. I'll be back, Marvels. You'll see. I'll be back if it's the last thing I do. You were saying, Mary? Yeah, what a miracle. <laughs> Just think of the magic illusion I could create with it. <laughs> oh, please. <sighs> Haven't you had enough excitement for one day? I mean, <sighs> really. Let's see. A magic word. Whoa. Alush, is that? The amazing Dudley does it again. Even tireless crime fighters like the Marvel family need some time off. And what better way to relax than by watching a couple of champions slug it out? Slam it, Uncle Dudley. Fishy about that shot, Dudley. <laughs> Say, it's almost time for the new Captain Marvel show. I wonder if I'm in this one. <laughs> I uh, I trust they'll show some of my feats this time. And so far, no one knows where the spacecraft came from or why it's here. Colonel, could you tell us? <clears throat> the city park is no place for weird machines. I'm going to have to have them towed. I think we better check this out. Shazam! Captain Marvel! All right, everybody, move back. Hey, look, the Marvel family! What's going on, Colonel? Huh, just what I'd like to know. Blasted machines seem to be waiting for something. Robots. Three of them. Great. That's one apiece. Watch out! Is it from this solar system? It says here, made in Rio de Janeiro. Hey, Captain Marvel. Look at this. Get down, you imbecile. It may not like tigers. Gadzooks, it's pointing at me. Oh! 
Holy moly! They've kidnapped Uncle Dudley. No, 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 anything but that! You can carry on all you want. We're still getting married. Marry Aunt Minerva, the most notorious master criminal? Never. Don't let my success worry you. We'll rule the world of crime together. But, uh, but I would make a terrible husband. Nonsense! You're one hunk of a man. I've had my eye on you for some time now, Dudley. I've got a special room devoted just to you. Let me show you. For you, dear. The Dudley Museum. Goodness gracious. Look, here's a picture of you on your high school football team. That was the day I scored the winning field goal. The other team kicked me through the goalposts. And look, here's a picture of you winning the sports fishing competition. I wish that one had gotten away. And here's one of my favorites. The Uncle Dudley Lightning Rod. Yeah, got kind of a few kinks to work out. This is all very flattering, I'm sure. But I will not marry you, and that's final. Ooh, you're playing hard to get. I love that. Now, let me show you our room. <laughs> the Dudley Minerva Chamber. Sounds like a chamber of horrors to me. Look, Aunt Minerva, <laughs> where are you going to find a judge that will marry us? A judge, you say? <laughs> hmm, you seem to have thought of everything. Even our honeymoon. Three glorious weeks at the South Pole. Just the two of us. Wait one minute, Aunt Minerva. There is one thing you forgot. Curses! <laughs> Every time I try to elope with Dudley, that big red cheese interferes. But this time... Another minute, and we'll have them. I still can't figure out that maiden real label. Aliens from outer space can be tricky. They're just trying to confuse us. Wow. Holy moly! Look at that! Oh, wow. They may have left this solar system entirely. Where are we, anyhow? Deep in the Amazon jungle. Wait till you see my pet piranhas. <laughs> All right, boys, on your feet. Listen, boss, I don't like the idea of you marrying this fat clown, see? Oh, no? No! How are we gonna steal the U.S. gold reserves with him in the way? Take this peasant away and teach him some manners. Oh, hey, I was just kidding. I take it back. Come, Dudley, dear. I want to show you my lovely invention for destroying Captain Marvel. This junk didn't come from outer space. It's ordinary steel. There's a piece of paper stuck in here. We samba lessons? This stuff smells like raw, natural rubber. Holy moly. Rio de Janeiro. Samba lessons. Raw rubber. Next stop, Brazil. Turn it off. We can't destroy the marvel. I think I'll be leaving now. Just don't take me seriously. Madam, I am you. But the fact is, 
I'm the greatest criminal genius in history. And the marvels are all that stand in my way. She's totally wacko. How can I stop her? Ooh, what fun we'll have. First, the U.S. gold reserves at Fort Knox. Then the Bank of England. But why this fiendish machine? Oh, that. The robot's rays prepared the marvels for the machine. Prepared them? It takes two doses. Once they follow you here, the machine will finish the job. They'll lose their powers forever! Gee, Brazil is awfully big. I wonder how we'll ever find Uncle Dudley. All we can do is keep looking and hope for... Wait a minute. Look there. That's it. The flying saucer that took Uncle Dudley. It looks like it's been abandoned. We better go down and take a look. Sounds pretty quiet. <coughs> What's that? A judge? Captain Marvel! Oh, thank goodness! It's Aunt Minerva's gang. She, she wants me to marry her to, to, to somebody named Dudley. Uncle Dudley? Marry Aunt Minerva? It sounds like Uncle Dudley's in big trouble this time. We should have figured Aunt Minerva would be behind this. Where is Aunt Minerva and her gang now, Your Honor? Uh, they're headed off in that direction. <laughs> she said something about uh, coming back for me. Don't worry. We intend to stop her whatever she's planning. You'll be safe here until we can send for help. They can't be too far from their flying saucer. Let's get going. <laughs> Holy moly! Look at that! Wow! That's even bigger than the Astrodome! I'll bet anything that's where Aunt Minerva has Uncle Dudley. What's this thing made of, anyway? I think it's a force field. It sure is. <laughs> no power in the universe can break that force field. In a minute, they'll try changing to their mortal forms. And then... That thing is really tough. And it goes under the ground, too. Let's change back. Maybe we can get through that way. Shazam! Captain Marvel! The marvels are really the Batsons. In a minute, there will be three kids heading toward you. Grab them and keep them quiet. <laughs> now to turn off the force field. Ha! The magic lightning must have blown it out. Well, let's go. Shh. Mm. Ha! Gotcha. No, no. I just know those marvels would make you help them escape. But I'll fix them soon, don't worry. What do you want with these kids anyway, Aunt Minerva? <laughs> That's my little secret. Now wait outside. Make yourself comfortable, kids. Or should I say marvels? Surprised, aren't you? Relax. I'll set you free soon. As soon as I've taken away your powers. Where's Minerva? We have to get started. She said she had to get prettied up. Are you kidding? That could take forever. Oh, really? Come here, you. Hi, boss. We was just talking about you. Just what I need. A guinea pig. Who 
My neighbor, my little sweet potato. How can I be worthy of your beauty? Hmm. I guess the formula works. Is the mechanical mole ready? Sure thing, boss. We can get underneath Fort Knox in three hours. All right, boys, warm it up. We'll be leaving in a few minutes. Minerva, say you will be mine, dearest. <laughs> I ought to put this on the market. Pesky little brat! I put up with you long enough. Take these kids and put them in the machine. This should be fun. My good woman, I insist that... Minerva, my precious. Hmm. All he needed was a little encouragement. I am your humble slave, most beautiful of women. Hey, what's going on? She's my girl. Hmm. Come with me, Dudley, dear. Just throw the switch as soon as that clock stops ticking. Splendid! These little brats will make wonderful slaves. Say, fat stuff. I saw her first, get it? Imagine! They're actually fighting over me! Look out! <laughs> Dummy! Good heavens, what am I doing? Curses! Stop him! Forget it, we're going after that gold. Shazam! Captain Marvel! Let's go! Going somewhere, Aunt Minerva? You, Captain Marvel! You may have stopped me, but at least I can tell the world that your real identity is... Oh! What was I saying? I can't seem to remember anything. How did you get here, you big red cheese? Phew. Looks like we won't be seeing you for a while, Aunt Minerva. We'll see about that, you muscle-bound meddler. Hey, handsome. What are you doing with these cheeses? I could go for you in a big way. Oh, no, not again. Madam, please control yourself. Captain Marvel, help! What do you think, Mary? Should we help him? Please! Get her away! Maybe this one time. It's a festive day at the city zoo. A big shipment of new animals has just arrived, and Billy Batson, Wiz TV's star reporter, is on the spot with the news that's hot. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Billy Batson for Wiz TV. This is Batsy Billion. Uh, uh, big... <laughs> for Pete's sake, Batson, we need a sound level. This is a rehearsal. Sorry, sir. Just a slight uh, distraction. We're speaking with Mr. Tawny, one of the directors of the zoo. Uh, tell us about the new gorillas, Mr. Tawny. An amazing story, Billy. 
Now, now those two, Mimi and Alphonse, were difficult to catch. But the other one practically jumped into the cage. It was almost as if he wanted to go. Gee, he is big. What's his name? Big Boy. You know, there's something about him. He's not like any gorilla I've ever seen. Now that you mention it, he looks a lot like... <laughs> no, it couldn't be. I must distract him before he remembers where he's seen me before. Ah, just the thing. I'll make him change into Captain Marvel. I will obey. Tony, thank you once again. It's always a pleasure to hear from our animal friends. Make that usually a pleasure. Looks like it's time for the Marvels. Shazam! Captain Marvel! Now, how do you suppose they got out? <laughs> oh, did they think they could escape the vengeance of Dr. Alarog forever? <laughs> I'll show them all of them. By Bondi yeah, I wish Tommy would learn a new Bondi song. He says it inspires his cooking, Uncle Dudley. Ha, we should have asked Billy to get some pizza on his way home. Could Big Boy really be Dr. Alarog? I don't know about that, but I do know Uncle Dudley hasn't got another move. I'll see what's keeping dinner. I wish Billy would hurry up. I think we should go back to the zoo and check that gorilla. He told us to wait until he was through at the station. All right, but I still don't see how Alarog could have escaped after we captured him the last time. Now, what do you suppose? Must have been the wind. We better take a look. That's funny. I thought you said they were hungry. The front door's open. <laughs> Believe it or not. Well, speak up, man. I smell gorillas. Gorillas? That's impossible. It's probably your cooking. I tell you, there were live gorillas right here within the last few minutes. 
<laughs> Wait a minute. They're the same gorillas that were at the zoo. Hmm, I think we better get down to the zoo and see what this monkey business is all about. I don't know. Billy will be back soon. Don't you think we should wait for him in case there's any trouble? No need for that, Mr. Tony. If trouble should show its ugly head, Uncle Marvel will show his. Mm, maybe we should wait for Billy after all. Let's show him we can solve a case by ourselves for a change. Well, if you say so. You wait here. If anything happens, get Billy as fast as you can. Oh, yes. <laughs> Excellent idea, Tony. Hmm, I've always had a way with animals. Cute little fella. Ow! Uh, wait, please, what are you doing? <laughs> Something's got these animals riled up. I'll just stand clear of the cages. I wonder what's keeping Tony. You know? Pardon me, sir. What's going on? Alarog? He's going to release the animals and put the humans in cages? You there! Get out of that suit! Catch you later! Hold the tiger! I knew I shouldn't have eaten them pickles. into him. Hey, open it up! It may not look like much, but it'll do the trick. <laughs> you overgrown monkey, you better leave before Captain Marvel gets here. Stupid humans, leave! <laughs> The fun's just beginning! <laughs> fun? What exactly did you have in mind? <sighs> just a little gardening. Perhaps you'd like a small demonstration. jungle, the human race will become my slaves. <laughs> my jungle machine will make it much more uh, livable for animals, that is. <laughs> we'll just put it on full power and the world will be mine. There's nothing worse than an evil-powered, crazed monkey with a green thumb. Uncle Dudley, too? This is worse than I expected. But what does Alarog want? He thinks humans should never have been allowed to take control of the world. He wants revenge on all of us. But how... Holy moly! The city square is turning into a jungle. No time to waste. Shazam! Shazam! 
to get to the zoo, if it isn't too late already. Can Captain Marvel stop Alley Rod before the jungle swallows up his hometown forever? We'll soon find out. Captain Marvel races toward the city zoo to rescue Mary, Freddy, and Uncle Dudley, held captive by the evil Dr. Alarog. But meanwhile, Alarog's jungle machine is making problems. Uh-oh. I'm going to have to do something about this. What a mess. Where am I going to start? I wonder if weed killer would help. Here we go again. Dr. Alarog really has turned the animals loose. One down. Now, are the rest of you coming peacefully? Or do I have to do this the hard way? I thought I'd never catch them all. Now it's your turn. <laughs> Find your captivity uncomfortable, do you? <laughs> Get used to it. So, the great Captain Marvel is here at last. All right, Alarog. Your little game is finished. And you can start by untying them. Oh, come now, Captain Marvel. What's your rush? We have so much to talk about. We'll talk, all right, after I put you behind bars where you belong. Indeed. If I were you, my dear Red Cheese, I wouldn't move a muscle. Do you think I'd make it that easy? After you and your friends sealed me in a cave? If an earthquake hadn't opened it... We left you enough food to last forever. But it was so boring. <laughs> naughty, naughty. Another failure, Balarog. Really? <laughs> Let's see. That ray has made me too powerful. Another failure, did you say? All right for you, Alarog. I can't slow down. That ray must have increased my powers a billion times. I must slow down. Holy moly! to admit it. This is Alarog's best trick so far. But maybe that strength ray won't work the same on Billy Batson. Shazam! Wow! I never felt like this before. I bet I could fly. I can't really fly, but I can jump miles. I'm almost as strong as Captain Marvel. This is fun. Your precious Captain Marvel is out of the picture for good. Now I'm going to put all of the city's humans in the zoo. Then let the animals take over? 
I don't think so, Dr. Alarog. Get him! What? How? Let's just say you underestimated humans. Captain Marvel! Shazam! I'll take that ray pistol. Shazam! Tell me one thing, Nalarog. Why do you do these things? You wouldn't understand. I wanted to be the first gorilla in Who's Who. Okay, I'll have a special one printed up for you. Who's Who at the zoo. I'll get you for this, you big red cheese. <laughs> <laughs> So ends another adventure with the mighty Marvel. You won't want to miss the next exciting adventure with star reporter Billy Batson, his sister Mary, their friend Freddie Freeman, lovable Uncle Dudley, and that amazing talking tiger, Mr. Tawny.